Hi and welcome to Velo GPS. In this video we're going to demonstrate how to install a Shimano wireless unit in your DI2 setup in order to be able to pair your DI2 with a compatible Garmin Edge. By pairing with your Garmin you'll be able to access additional information such as graphical gear displays and most importantly battery charge levels. The new DI2 wireless unit also allows wire-free communication between your DI2 setup and a compatible smartphone or tablet. This means that you'll no longer need to connect your bike to a PC in order to update firmware or customise shifter settings, but we'll cover that in a separate video. Before we start, it's worth noting that some bikes may already have a wireless unit pre-installed. In order to work out whether this is the case, you need to try pairing your Garmin with your DI2 setup. We've covered this in a separate video that can be viewed via the link above and in the description below. If you're unable to pair your Garmin, then it's likely that your DI2 does not have the wireless unit installed, so watch on as we're going to cover installation in the rest of this video. So, to start off with, you'll need to buy the wireless unit EWWU111, as well as an additional DI2 cable. In most circumstances, the short 15cm cable will be sufficient. Once you've purchased the new hardware, you can then set about installation. Ok, so first of all you need to locate your DI2 battery. This is most commonly found in your seat post, however on our Trek Damani SLR it's located in the control centre built into the frame's down tube. To access the battery we need to remove the bottle cage. With the bottle cage off, we can now start to unscrew the control centre cover. Once we've removed the cover, we find our DI2 battery underneath, mounted in a bespoke battery holder. In addition to the battery, we also have a DI2 junction box located in the frame. Time now for a quick unboxing of the wireless unit. Once we've removed the packaging, we can see that the wireless unit is tiny, with a suggested weight of around 5 grams. We now need to unbox our 15cm bespoke DI2 cable. We're installing our wireless monitor after the battery. In order to safely disconnect the DI2 battery without risking damage to the wires, we're using the DI2 tool so that we're pulling on the connector rather than the cable. We now take the wireless unit and insert the disconnected cable into one end, using the other end of the DI2 tool to push it in. You will feel the cable click into place as you push it firmly in.
taking our new 15cm DI2 cable, we connect one end to the other wireless unit port, ensuring that it again clicks securely into place. Complete this simple installation, we finally take our DI2 battery, connect it back up to the DI2 hardware and then carefully slide it back inside the frame before securing the control centre cover back in place. So, in a few short minutes, that's how to integrate Shimano's wireless unit with your DI2 group set. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment, as it helps to promote us on the platform, and everyone loves a virtual high five. In the meantime, check out our video on how to pair and set up your compatible Garmin Edge GPS with your DI2.